Here we have a little easier method. On this side, my low side, I have a temperature reading and my hose. It's going to the actual suction line temperature and my suction saturated. On the high side, my liquid side, I have my hose hooked up on the right side and also a temperature clamp on the actual liquid line. On the top side, it's giving me my head pressure on the right and my suction pressure on the left, which is really irrelevant. Let's take a look at the left side. Here's what's more important. I got it set for 410A refrigerant. It tells me my superheat is 6.8. That's what I ultimately need. It gives me my vapor saturated or suction saturated of 42. That's where my refrigerant is boiling inside. My suction line temperature is 48.9. So it's automatically calculating superheat for me. On my high side, it's telling me my subcooling is 9.6. That's what I need to know ultimately. Superheat and subcooling right there. But my liquid saturated is 80.7. So my refrigerant's condensing at 80.7 out here. My actual liquid line temperature is 71 degrees. So ultimately, all I really need to do is look at my superheat and subcooling. Now this unit has a TXV metering device. If I look on the tag of this unit, it says indoor TXV subcooling at eight degrees Fahrenheit. So my target is eight degrees of subcooling and I'm at 9.7 degrees of subcooling. So I'm a little bit overcharged with this on subcooling. My superheat is also a little bit low. So my subcooling is high, my superheat's low. My superheat's low because I have an airflow issue inside. The filter in this system is dirty. We need to change the filter so we have the proper amount of airflow. The TXV cannot do its job because there isn't enough heat acting against that evaporator coil. But it's still trying. It's still keeping it above five degrees of superheat. So this is what's cool is we can see our superheat and subcooling, bam, like that. But even if you don't have digital gauges, you can still do it. For superheat, I'm in my actual suction line temperature minus my suction saturated temperature equals superheat. For subcooling, it's gonna be my liquid saturated temperature minus my actual liquid line temperature equals subcooling. So I have my superheat and my subcooling. My actual subcooling compared to my target subcooling on the unit and my superheat because it's a TXV, I can check with the manufacturer's data or this one's actually manually adjustable. But I have to have airflow first and we don't have the proper airflow on this unit.